So friends, previously I showed you a process of unbreak Realme 6785 devices with the MTK client method which did not work for most of my subscribers. So today I have decided to make the SPFT method which is called SP flash tool method also. So let's get to the process. So with SP flash tool you can unbreak that means you can bring your phone out of boot loop or soft brick etc. So that is called unbreak and for downgrade if you flash lower version of realme UI that's called downgrade and you can do upgrade also if you are in B65 you can flash the C13 OFP to upgrade to C13 then you will be able to flash C18 manually by OTA. So with SV flash tool you can do these three things. So today I am going to install realme UI with full firmware which is including user data because I am facing some problems with my phone even after changing many ROMs I have faced same issue so that's why I will show you how to flash. So if you are unbreaking your phone then you must know one thing that the data in your phone may not be recovered so every time when you use a custom rom or do anything that you are not sure about just please make a backup of your all your personal data that is important to you so if you are unbreaking your phone i will assume that you are on a boot loop or in a brick condition in that case i will just turn the phone off but before that let me show you that i am going to flash the b23 so here you can see i have two files the spft pack and b23 ofp although you can use any other ofp like a43 this is for realme 7 narzu devices b65 c18 for realme 6 and 6i g90 we have two options c18 and b65 although you will get other ofps in the web or in the telegram so i have added only these two files and for realme 7 and also devices i have added this file which is a43 so you will need an ofp file from this according to your device and the spft full zip including all stuffs which includes python driver vrom etc so i have downloaded an ofp file for my device in my case it's realme 6 so i have downloaded b23 which is built for realme 6 and this is with user data so it contains the user data and the file size is 12.3 gb and all the ofps that comes with more than 6 gb of file size those are all containing user data so the difference between user data and without user data is with user data you will not need to do format data if you flash without user data file then you will need to reboot into recovery or from fast boot you will need to format data although i will format even after using the with user data file so let's begin with the process so let's start the process of unbreak or downgrade or upgrade so the first thing is to install python so when you download the spft pack you should extract it and extract this to a folder and the antivirus will detect the python file so in spft pack we will need the python and in my case it's 64 bit windows so i will install the 64 bit one which is 3.11 and you can also download this from the official python website so here is the latest python which is 3.11.5 so you can also use that too but i will use this one and when you install it make sure to click on add python to path then click on install now allow the window so you can see the python is now installed now let's see the second step so after installing python we have to run command in the step 2 so i will just copy this command so after copying the command open cmd and click on run as administrator at first copy the command from here now paste the command in command prompt and you will see that it has started installing the python in your computer and if you don't see anything like this make sure to recheck the command the file should be present after the json and i have also mentioned that in the blog and this is how we complete the step 2 now in step 3 we have to install the driver and when the python installation is complete you can close this window and you can also close the command prompt now in the spft pack open the spft pack folder go to flash then go to driver and install the system information file by right clicking on it and then click on install and it will also work if you 
click on this button because in Windows 10 you will not see the UI like this although both these options are same and when it's installed it will show like this the operation completed successfully click on ok now the driver installation is complete and we have successfully completed the step 3 now in step 4 we have to install the lib usb win32 filter so i have mentioned all steps in the block but let's see how to do this actually so at first go to this directory in the spft pack click on spft pack lib usb then click on lib usb again and you will see an application file so you have to install this application file first then you will be able to install the filters so this is the directory where we have to go and you will see an application like this now double click on this application then click next just like typical application install in windows and you can see the steps are mentioned here how the filter will be installed but before that you have to install the application so here you will need an usb cable so connect the usb cable to the pc and you will have to connect it when it is turned off so in bootloop condition you can turn off the phone by holding volume up and power button so let's assume this phone is on bootloop then just hold the volume up and power button so you can see the phone turned off it will not turn on if i click the power button now after opening this window click on next accept next and it will install the software so let's install it now it will launch the filter installer here you will have to connect your phone while it is turned off so hold the volume up and down button not the power button and click on finish now it will say install a device filter click next now while holding volume up and down button connect the usb and click the mediatek usb port and click on install so it will show the driver is installed click on ok and you can now click on cancel now unplug it so this is how it's usually done but if you could not do it that quick and your phone turned on then see what to do next to select it and click on install it did not catch it because we have to do it very fast so i will unplug it again and power it off by holding volume up and power button so you can see when i force turn it off it turns off the screen but after few seconds it automatically turns on so what i will do here i will just hold the volume down button and power button so that it will reboot into fast boot now when the screen turns off quickly hold volume down and power button so it will boot into fast boot here you can see the device has rebooted to fast boot now we can hold volume up button and power button to turn it off so it is now turned off now open this window and hold volume down and up button not the power button remember now plug the data cable and click the mediatek usb port and click on install so the step 4 is successfully done and i have described the process here you can read it also and the step 5 we have bypass run brom.bat for this also we have to turn off the phone and the file will be available in this address so let's open the folder go to flash bypass and here's brom so this is the brom file which we have to run now for this we will have to turn the phone off again hold volume up and power button to turn it off so when it's turned off run the brom so the brom is running now hold volume down and up button not the power button and insert the usb cable and not release it quickly just hold for few seconds so you can see after connecting the usb it detected and then i released the volume buttons and you can say it says protection disabled and 
If you see anything like attribute error or something else, do this again and make sure to hold the volume buttons and plug it and don't release quickly until it detects the phone and when it detects and says protection disabled, you can release your volume buttons and keep it. Now we can close this window normally. Now after running the VROM bypass, don't unplug the USB cable. So the step 5 is also completed. Now after that we have to open the flash tool. Now for flash tool. I will not recommend any other flash tool to use rather than the one which is added here because these have protection like it does not have the format plus download mode which is harmful for your device and removes the IMEI. I will not talk about that. So let's get to the flash tool first. I will click on flash, go to SP flash tool. So we have the flash tool right here you can see. I will just open the flash tool and when the bypass is complete don't unplug the USB I forgot to mention so here in scatter loading file you will have to load the scatter for that you have to extract the b23 or whatever OAP you are using just extract it so I will make a separate folder for that which will be convenient by any chance if you are using a third-party SP flash tool make sure that this is on download only mode if you see format plus download here sorry it closed the app i don't know why so i will open it again so here it says the error ignore it what i was saying that if you see format plus download here please select the download only mode because that is what we have to do for realme 6 now let's see our OZIP is being extracted or not so this OFP is of 12 GB that's why it is taking so much time if you use 3 GB or 6 GB of OFP then it will not take that much time so the file is now extracted in the folder so let's open the SP flash tool now so click on scatter loading then go to the folder where you have extracted the OFP and select the MT6785 Android scatter then click open so it will load all the files now again make sure this is on download only because no one wants their IMEIs to get wiped so make sure it is on download only now click on download and it will start the process now this is going to take some time so take a cup of coffee and wait for that and during this process don't ever unplug the USB or it may hard break and in hard break you will need to change the motherboard otherwise it will not be fixed so make sure to keep it just like this don't touch it and if you have any problem with your data cable then don't even touch it otherwise you know what will happen so in my case I have used the 12 GB of file and after extracting it has become 16 GB you can see it is 16 GB although this doesn't matter you can also use the 3 GB or 6 GB of file I mean OFP so I want to say that it will take more time than usual because the file is larger that's what I want to say so let's wait for it So guys you can see here the flashing is complete it says ok and the phone is still turned off so now what to do you can just unplug the phone now as I have used the with user data file I can simply remove the cable and start the phone and start using it but in your case you may use without user data file so you will have to format data either from recovery or from fastboot so here i flashed the realme y1 based b23 so rebooting to fastboot is quite complex here so i will reboot to recovery and format data so for that i can remove the cable and hold the volume down and power button to reboot into recovery directly without rebooting to system and you can release it now so here is the realme UI one based recovery select english here then go to wipe data enter the code right here it will be random in your case 
so let's just enter it now just click on format data and click on format now when the format data is complete it will say wiped successfully and if you click on ok it will reboot automatically you don't have to do anything now so you can see it's booting normally for now there is no issue and the realme logo appeared and it will now boot normally in few seconds so let's see it booting so guys you can see here the phone booted successfully and it is working like a champ there is no issue so i will just set up the rom i mean realme y and start using it so this is how you can unbreak your realme 675 device so i hope this video will help you a lot if you have bricked your device or if you want to downgrade or something else so thank you for watching this video i will see you in the next one bye bye